Yo, what's up, swag gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Laura, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we are back here again with TBS. Look, bro, this is 10 NFL records that will be broken in 2021. Let's just see what TBS talking about. And will these records really be broken? Because the only record that I know that was really broken was Lamar Jackson breaking Michael Vick record. But y'all let me know down below, man. Was there any other records that was broken, man? You know, because I do have a life. I don't really know that much. You know, but I do got you guys to uh, 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 go in the comments and let me know, man. You know, swag game, bro. So let's get into it. TBS. Yes. Yes. an exciting year. In fact, we'd go as far as to say it might be a historic Such a goat. as many records that are on the books currently are dangerously close to being surpassed by quite a few players in the league right now. Okay. T-B-S. T-B-S. You've all heard the saying by now. Records were made to be broken. Among the records set in 2020, there was damn. Look at his hands, bro. His hands are bleeding. To a Super Bowl championship, and he also moved ahead of Drew Brees for most career passing touchdowns. Damn. Justin Herbert and receiver Justin Jefferson rewrote the record books for rookies at their respective. Oh yeah, he did do that. He did do that. Which NFL yeah. records stand to be broken next? Some will no doubt be toppled this season, while others might need a bit of luck. That boy did. <laughs> <laughs> Here are ten NFL records that we can see getting broken in 2021 okay most passing yards in a career tom brady already holds practically all the key quarterback records most super bowl he do that's most true career wins and most career touchdown passes drew Brees missed five games in 2019 and four games last season and damn he's retired so brady has a cakewalk to the all-time passing yards title Brees sits at 80,358 while brady is not far behind at oh yeah that's gonna happen he's gonna break that easily break this record at some point in 2020 he's gonna break that there's a chance that his return to foxborough and week four will be the day he does it just how fitting would that be and we are not losing that game we are not losing that game bro no we're not losing that game against Tampa Bay can't, it's, it can't happen it can't this is the last significant, the last significant record, record for Brady to break, and if you'll hold it for at least 15 to 20 years, unless Patrick Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, or somebody else just totally goes off for unhuman-like numbers over the next decade. They could. They could go off. Big if, though. Anyway, yeah, Brady doesn't have anything else to accomplish at this stage of his career except for a few more personal records. The all-time passing yards title is right within his grasp. Look for him to break it within the first five games of 2021. Yeah, that's Most true. I get that. In a season. The addition of a 17th game means that Eric Dickerson's long-standing record will likely end the in the coming year. <laughs> if Adrian Peterson had a 17th game in 2012, he would have smashed it. Derrick Henry probably would have broken the record as well. Damn, Derrick's big, he had man. A 17th game to do it. Dickerson still holds the single-season rushing yards record with 2,105, which was set in Damn. the there have only been eight 2,000 yard rushing seasons in history. Just two of them have come since 2010. Henry rushed for 2,027 yards last year in route to Offensive Player of the Year honors. As great as he is, it might be difficult for him to repeat that feat. The Tennessee Titans may want to cut back on Henry's workload and keep him fresh for the final stretch in postseason after all. Damn. But don't rule out Henry just yet. And let's not forget about the likes of Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, or even Dalvin Cook. Oh, hell yeah. 557 rushing Them boys are nasty. 14 games last season. There are plenty of workhorse running backs who could make a hard push for Dickerson's record. And like we said, that 17th game makes their chances that much greater. Worst single season win loss record. The 2008 Detroit Lions and 2017 Cleveland Browns have the dishonors of sharing the worst single season win loss record. That's As true. You all know, That's true. They both managed to go a humiliating 0 and 16. Well, we aren't fully ruling out the possibility of some team outdoing these two terrible Damn. squads. I would have literally caught that and scored off that. Very 
I would have caught that pitch. Football teams in 2020. Damn, how you didn't catch that? The Detroit Lions don't have Tripping, man. To steal them a few games. Could have caught that. The talent level is pretty thin on both sides of the ball. The Jacksonville Jaguars will probably be better this year with Trevor Lawrence, but what if he's overwhelmed by the transition to the NFL? Maybe the Jaguars go zero and seventeen. Who knows? They came awfully close last season with a they could. Oh my record, gosh! Despite winning their Week One contest, and then there's the New York Jets, who weren't much better than. The Jags with just two wins last God year. God damn, he threw his ass. Back Zach Wilson isn't ready for the NFL. Then zero and seventeen also stands out as a possibility for Gang Green. Goes crazy, but uh, we wouldn't be all that surprised if one of these teams went zero and seventeen. They're no way, can't can't be. You, you have to win one game in a single season. This is a sure bet to be broken in the very near future. So why not in 2021? Damn, that was a good catch. Set the record with the Philadelphia Eagles back in 2018, notching a whopping 116 catches. In 2020, Darren Waller of the Las Vegas Face Rangers mask? Call that some face mask. Kansas City Chiefs superstar Travis Kelsey had 105. If Waller and Kelsey had that 17th game on their schedule, they could have totally broken this record last season. Waller, Kelsey, they both really, they both real good. I'm not gonna lie. Get one hundred twenty nine. Damn. Yes. Kelsey, Kittle, Kittle for the NFL's NFL. three best tight ends. We got Gilmore guard at Kettle. That's how nice he is. Especially given the lack of playmaking receivers on their roster. And Atlanta Falcons rookie Kyle Pitts, perhaps the most hyped up tight end prospect ever, could make a push for that record as well. He With is most hyped folks, up. When's the last time the league had this many superstars at the position? Even without the 17th game, this record Damn, Kelsey looked fast. has been reached for the likes of Waller, Kelsey, and Kittle. But with another game on the schedule, there are several tight ends who could legitimately surpass Ertz's mark from 2018. Damn! Most attempts per game, career. The retired Andrew Luck holds the record for most pass attempts per game in a career with 38.3. But new Los Angeles Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford is right behind him at 37.7 attempts per game. Oh yeah, he can make Stafford that. Will now he can make that. A more balanced offense as opposed to having to throw a ridiculous amount of passes on a Detroit team that tends to be playing from behind more often than not. But, Look at that beautiful again, ball. Stafford is arguably a top 10 quarterback in the game. Sean McVay almost won a Super Bowl with Jared top ten. So with hey, Stafford he is real good though. Offense, why wouldn't McVay want to have him? Mac Matthew Stafford is actually a good ass quarterback. He's just he's been playing on the ass team called the Detroit Lions. So that's why we don't really hear that much about him and see that much. But hey, he might be doing he might be doing a lot of good things for um the L.A. Rams. Not gonna lie to you. Throw close to 40 passes per game, especially with star running back Cam Akers ruled out for the year. For those who may be wondering, Jared Goff averaged 36.8 attempts per game for the Rams in 2020. And in 2019, he had a whopping 39.1 attempts per game. So with that in mind, do you really think McVay is about to throw the ball less often now that he actually has a quarterback that he likes and can trust in Stafford? And even beyond the Rams quarterback, <laughs> there's also the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Carson Wentz, who aren't far behind Luck's record, with 36.7 and 36.6 attempts per game respectively. Both players have played in Damn. much fewer games, meaning an increase in their pass attempts could have an even greater effect on their career Ooh. average. In the end, Wide ass open. is the clear-cut favorite here, but you might want to keep your eyes on Mahomes and Wentz as well. Most yards allowed in a season. The 2012 New Orleans Saints suffered dearly after the NFL handed out a plethora of punishments following the completion of their Bounty Gate investigation. Sean Payton was suspended the entire season, and the Saints just Damn, Sean Payton? a Payton, legendary head coach. In 2012, the Saints' defense allowed 7,042 yards of offense, too. far and away, Dude, the ran like a four one in a single season. The previous record was held by the 1981 Baltimore Colts, who allowed 6,793 yards yards against well there are several defensive units that should be downright Six awful in 2021 the lions should be considered the favorites to finish dead last again in 2020 they allowed 6716 yards of offense 
This team is still in rebuilding mode and you should not expect much improvement in 2021. And let's not forget about that extra 17th game, which will put this unwanted record within reach. The Texans wow. are also another contender here. They allowed 6,668 yards in 2020 with future Hall of Famer J.J. Watt. No, no way I'm letting that happen and I'm on a team. The Texans defense fares no way. even worse this season. Possibly. I like those cleats that he got on. Derek Henry, Henry, those cleats. Damn, they're sexy. He's allowed the second most yards in 2020 at 6,683. Improvement feels inevitable, but who knows? Maybe not. Finally, the Falcons, who have consistently fielded Falcons are so ass. worst defenses over the past decade. So trash. The running for this record as well. Plenty of contenders. So you got to think one will do it. Am I right? Most times sacked. Career. Damn. This is another record that will undoubtedly be broken in 2021. Hall of Famer Brett Favre holds the record for most times sacked with 525. Brady is right behind him at 521. Unless the 2021 Bucks hire five Superman clones to guide their O-line, Brady is obviously going to surpass Favre. For what it's worth, the fewest sacks allowed by a team in a single season is seven. The Miami Dolphins reached that jaw-dropping feat back in 1988. But wait, Brady might not even be atop the leaderboard by season's end. That's because Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger has uh, been sacked 518 times. Uh, John Elway for all right, you guys, do not get on me in the comments. I used to like Ben back then. I mean, I still like him now, blah, 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 blah. but at the same time, Ben, if you guys really watch Steelers football, Ben is not all that good as he used to be. Steelers just have an amazing-ass defense. And back in the day, Ben was that dude. Now, he in the middle, you know, he in the middle. He lucky Juju didn't leave, though. Third most ever. ever. And, and as you know, Pittsburgh lost three starters on their O-line this offseason. Oh, for real? Behind one of the NFL's top units. That probably explain why Ben will be definitely going crazy like that. Unwanted career total of 525 sacks. But can Roethlisberger manage to take less sacks and remain below Brady's total in 2021? The race is on. No sacks in a single season. The official record book will tell you that the New York Giants legend Michael Strahan holds the single season sacks record with 22.5. Damn, that's nice. Michael Strahan still holding but a record right now? This year, the good folks at Pro Football Reference reviewed film from Al Baker's 1978 rookie year with the Detroit Al Baker, who is that? They credit him with 23 sacks, which is deemed the I wasn't even alive yet. Because you see, the league didn't start tracking sacks until 1982. Well, here's the Damn. Thing. With an extended regular season schedule, Perhaps I didn't even exist Graham yet. Nor Baker will hold that record for much longer. Aaron Donald of the Los Angeles Rams had 20.5 sacks in the 2018 season. This guy is an absolute freak of nature, and we would not rule out his chances of surpassing 23 sacks during a 17 game season. But hey, even Shaq Barrett got close to the record with 19.5 sacks in 2019. Shaq Barrett liked that, though. 19 that year. JJ oh, Lee Chris Jones. In JJ. 2014. Donald, Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa, TJ Watt, Those and some Miles dogs. Garrett are among the NFL's That boy Miles, bro. That's one big dude, dude man. Seriously push for the sacks record. Miles. That's how we do homemade. What? Drop it, drop it, drop it. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. I could do that too. Obviously, Obviously a lot, a lot, a lot of people have to make it happen. happen. But hey, that extra game should help. Most career Pro Bowl selections. Oh. Despite his magical age 43 Super Bowl winning season, Tom Brady did not earn that record setting Pro Bowl selection in 2020. He also didn't earn one in 2019, his final year with the Patriots. Brady, Peyton Manning, Tony Gonzalez, Merlin Olsen, and Bruce Matthews are in a five way tie for most career Pro Bowl selections with 14 apiece. Damn, Brady, Brady looks fast right there. Look, he ran a 4 3. Damn. Anyway, a Super Bowl is a final tournament. Bro, Brady Lucky was running a 4-3. Bro, then why do they have Brady speed on Madden like a like a 60? Brady was moving. I know y'all saw that. Brady was moving. Bro, let me find out he ran a 
That's, that's it. it. Senator's record for most career Pro Bowl mods would only add some gravy to his GOAT status. And once he gets that record, it might never be broken. Oof. See if Brady can once again hold off Father Time and break yet another impressive record in his second season as a Buccaneer. Most Damn. passing yards in the season. Oh, uh, Peyton Manning. Manning. I like him. Most passing touchdowns and that was passing yards I, bro. With 55 Peyton Manning, man, was that dude. 55 TDs. percent in 2013 when he engineered the Broncos to the highest scoring offense ever. Since Damn. Then, four quarterbacks have hit 5,000 passing yards. Drew Brees in 2018. Got a big ass and Patrick Mahomes in 2018 and Jameis Winston in 2019. Okay, Jameis. If those men had a 17th game to work with, perhaps Manning's record would have been broken by now. So now every quarterback has an extra game to surpass 5,477 passing yards. Mahomes is obviously the favorite, but there are a plethora of candidates. Brady, Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Matthew Safford, Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, oh. and, well, the list goes on and on. Who's to doubt any of these guys? That 17th game the can space. sure make a difference with a record like this. Manning averaged 342.3 passing yards per game in 2013. Oh, that, that is really, really good. For his career. The NFL is an offense-driven league, and the rules make it harder and harder for defenses each year, especially against the pass. So, yes, Manning's record is in big time jeopardy and will surely be broken in the very near future. We're betting it happens in 2021. Book it. But which other NFL records could be broken in 2021? Join us in the comment section. That's crazy, bro. I actually really don't know, but I really think that record will be broken with um, Derrick Henry, most likely. I think Derrick Henry could break the record. Um, and also Tom Brady as well, man. Tom Brady is not that far. But you guys let me know uh, what you guys think, man. I'll see you guys in the next video.